All right, today I'm gonna do a quick oil change on a 2015 Camry. This is the four cylinder with the two and a half liter right, engine. The tool you're gonna need, socket wrench, 14 millimeter socket. This is for the drain plug. This is the uh, Toyota filter wrench, specific for Toyota vehicles. You can find this at Advanced Auto Parts, Pet Boys, or AutoZone, or online. Extension bar for your socket wrench. You're gonna need an oil drain pan, a funnel, oil filter, and then zero W20 motor oil. I always use full synthetic. You're also gonna need a ramp or some jack stands. I went ahead and used the ramp because uh, my car's lowered on lowering springs so I can't really get a jack underneath and I also needed a, a piece of wood to get my car to clear the ramp. If you don't have lowering springs, you can go ahead and use a jack and some jack stands. Once you raise your car, go ahead and go under it and your drain plug will be right here. As you can see, that's 14 millimeters. And then your oil filter goes right there. All right, go ahead and loosen that up. And, and there it goes. Make sure the pan catches all that oil. All right, now you wanna go ahead and remove your oil filter housing with your cat filter wrench, extension bar, and your socket wrench. All right, once you loosen it up enough, you can just go ahead and use your hand. Make sure the oil pan is under there. The oil will drip out. As I wait for that oil to drain, I wanna talk about this k uh, Pro Series oil filter. So four years ago when I started buying this oil filter, it used to come exactly as shown in the picture with this black plastic end cap on the top and bottom. But now, as you can see, it doesn't have it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if k is trying to cut corners or costs, but um, yeah, what's up with that? Once the oil has stopped draining, you can go ahead and put your uh, drain plug back on. Make sure that washer is on there. Um, you shouldn't ever lose that. Make sure you replace that O-ring with the new one that comes with the oil filter. As you can see, I replaced it. And once you do that, you can go ahead and screw it back on. Now you can go ahead and pour in your oil. Once you've let your car warm up and let the oil circulate throughout the engine, you can go ahead and check your dipstick. You want it just below the full line. So go ahead and pour in more oil if you need it. Once you're done changing your oil, don't forget to reset your maintenance light. Um, on the 2015 cameras, you can just go to your settings, press customize, go down, and then it's right there. It says maintenance reset, and you can just go ahead and click that and just press yes. And you're all set. That's it for the 2015 Toyota Camry oil change. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.